All right, welcome to my video, guys. This is Obelisk. Uh, today I decided to do a, a video on how to get GTFO working in VR. Um, this, I, I think this was dropped like a week ago. This is very new, um, and so it's very, it's, it's, there's still a lot of things to be developed for it. Um, the elevator sequence is not functioning in VR, and also uh, the, uh, the menu is not functioning in VR. So once you get in the game in VR, you gotta or get in the game of uh, GTFO, you actually have to press F1 to activate the VR experience. And when you die, it'll just hang on you. Like there, there'll be no loading of the menu or anything. And you can't really get out of VR at that point. At least I haven't discovered a way. So ma mainly you have to reset the game every time you wanna try it out in VR, um, which is a little bit of a hurdle, but I mean, the experience is worth it. It's really cool. And I would like to give a shout out to the creator of this. Uh, it's a uh, D Sprint, uh, D S P R T N. Uh, he uploaded this and he put a lot of hours into it. So I hope you know he makes his money back in the amount of time he put into it. Uh, and it's really cool. Um, he did a really good job too. Uh, so he should definitely be proud. But the first thing first is the GTFO. It should be installed on your uh, on your computer and it should be functioning. And the first thing you want to do when installing uh, the VR mod for it is to first go to properties on your GF GTF Go game, just select the title, go to uh, the properties, and then go down to here. You want to disable, use desktop game theater while uh, Steam VR is active. That has to be off, and that's basically, I don't know if anybody's ever done it, but when you're playing a pancake game and you try to run it in VR, it's gonna treat, treat the um, headset as if it was like in a theater mode. That's exactly what it says. It'll just be a screen with the game, and you're in a theater. So that's pretty much what that does. But you want to disable that because we're not necessarily doing that. We're actually making it room scale VR. So you can't have that. So go ahead and disable that. And then what you're going to do is you're first going to get the files necessary, uh, which I've already pulled up um, and had them ready for this to make this video very quick. Um, so you're not sitting wait watching me search for things. Uh, but yeah, so I'll go ahead and pull it up. First thing first is going to be the actual mod itself. This is the GTF VR plugin. And I will leave this link right here inside of the description so you can find it quite easily. And you just click, download, you're good to go, and you're out. Um, and then the second one is uh, you have to get this right here. The, uh, uh, was it, uh, Bepin X? Um, you have to get this because this is required and you're actually going to install this uh, before. I've never dealt with this before, so. Uh, but you have to install this before you can actually get the uh, game to work itself. So let's go ahead and go back to here. So once you've downloaded those two, I already have them downloaded. Uh, then you're going to go back to your game here. And... Um, usually you can, uh, once the game's installed, you can actually go to properties and then go to local files. You're going to open up local files. You'll find the root file is what you need access to, but I already have that right now, but just a good way to show how that's done. Um, but so you're going to go to downloads, then you're going to go to the root file of GTFO. You're going to take, uh, the Bepin X and you're going to, uh, you're going to go ahead and double click on that, unzip it, and then you're just going to copy so and you're going to paste it in the room and so it should look like this it's pretty straightforward i mean if anybody's ever done with mods before this is kind of what you have to do there's a special folder for it usually or you do it in the, the root of the file itself so that was pretty easy um let's go ahead and, so this is still the root so let's go ahead and go back and so now that's done you want to not don't drop anything else in here what you're going to do is go back to the game and you actually have to start the game and run it because it has to configure the right files for the game itself. The, uh, uh, the uh, uh, Bepin X, uh, it has to configure files to get everything set up. So you have to actually run the game once before before you're able to do it. It's gonna take a second. So once the game's running, there we go. It's loading, awesome. All right, so now you're gonna exit out, just quit. So now it's done that, you'll see a change in the files themselves. It's a little bit more different now. So now that's done, you've uh, loaded it up and everything. Just go back over here. 
to your downloads and then open up these two files. Then you're going to go into your GTFO. Make sure it's the latest too. Um, what had happened to me is I actually downloaded the 0201 file. I ended up dropping into the root file. Uh, found it wasn't the latest uh, offered by um, the creator of this mod. And so I ended up having to drop it over this file here, which is a bad idea. When I got the news file, I just dropped it over. And for some reason, my controller inputs weren't working. And then my controllers wouldn't even appear until I... So I had to literally uninstall, reinstall the game, do this all over again, um, just so I can update it. And I don't know if that was just a special case or, you know, what's going on with that. But um, make sure you have the latest so you're not going to have to touch it for a good minute. And so I'm just going to open this up, go to copy, and then just paste it in here. Boom. All right, now that's done. Uh, that's that's all you have to do with these, by the way. So you're just going to exit. And then you're going to start it up. Like so. Uh, I, I, actually, I don't think my... Uh, well, no, it, it actually will. It should register. I was thinking OBS might not be able to pick this up. But yeah, I have it set on desktop, so it should be fine. And make sure you don't start VR until... First off, you have to have your Steam VR running. But make sure you don't start the VR component until you're actually dropped in from the elevator. Because if you try to start it before that, what's going to happen is it's going to hang and it'll never load. Um, so you're going to want to go to the rundown and go here. Initiate cage drop. And you can also always change the settings to, um, to lower video because it's, it's quite an intense game. Especially on your CPU, I've noticed it's quite quite um, hard on your CPU uh, but you're gonna want to drop a lot of those settings so you're not gonna be running 120 percent over resolution or anything like that definitely not with this game uh, but you want to go through the elevator sequence and I'll tell you when you can uh, press F1 and engage uh, VR once you have your headset and everything plugged in been through the sequence so much this doesn't seem like a long time but now I'm recording I just realized how long this takes <laughs> all right here we go all right now you would press f1 with your VR headset and everything plugged in, your controller is working, and your Steam VR running in the background, you press F1 and immediately it would engage it in uh, VR mode. But make sure that once you drop in, or the whole sequence of the elevator, you do not touch your mouse. Because what ends up happening is when you touch your mouse, your visual will be canted forward, or it'll just be off, you know. Uh, so you want to make sure you leave your mouse alone, press F1, and then, it, and then go ahead and put the headset on, and then your controllers, and you'll be in VR. So that's about it. I mean, it was pretty straightforward and easy going. Um, obviously, I don't have my VR running right now because I would have, it's kind of hard to get, you know, VR working and desktop working at the same time. But I have done videos of gameplay of this and I should have one uploaded on YouTube soon uh, once I can get the crew ready to go and we can just do a big VR blowout through um, GTFO. Uh, but thanks for joining me. And if I miss anything, just ask questions in the comments and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Thank you and I'll see you again.